and it's not from a mindset of using people to get to where you need it's around by surrounding yourself with people where you can add value to them just as much as they can add value to you so Yo, what's the word? Happy Wednesday. It's five o'clock right now. I've been upstairs today knocking out videos. I had to cut, um, well, cut up how many videos? About over 50 videos and put them all up on the Feed Me Fuel Me YouTube. And those are like the, the Wednesday episodes as well as the man the mastermind monday episodes so getting all that knocked out there's still some stuff that has to be done on there but i spent enough time working on those right now uh, i have to complete some other tasks um high priority stuff and then uh get that all res resolved by tonight or so but everything's going good man i'll be heading to the gym here in the next half an hour just to get that done and complete it and I'll also be um, be up tonight working on everything I have to finish up for the project for Land of Lean and then the vlog and then the vlogger course, getting all that figured out still and making some more ads as well for the vlogger course and working on the targeting. <laughs> that stuff's tough, man. I still haven't dialed it in. It takes a little bit of time um, but just still playing with it a little bit. Overall feeling really good though, man. It's been a fantastic day. And what else? Oh, I got confirmation on that project today, uh, out there in Atlanta. I'll be heading out in July. Um, I'll let you know the date once I get the follow-up email on that. But it looks good. Everything's a go on that. And we'll just knock that project out the park, as always. So, really excited to get that moving. What else, man? Nothing else too crazy that I can think of off the top of my head. Just gonna continue to keep moving forward and making things happen. But let me hit you up in a second. I'm about to take a quick shower and then we'll head to the gym. Just saw a piece by Gary Vee today and I reshared it on my Facebook. And it's crazy that this topic came up because I talked about it last week on my podcast, the Feed Me Fuel Me podcast. And it's about surrounding yourself with higher level people and the post where he goes on talking about you have to be able to cut out the friends that are bringing you down surround yourself with people who are winning and that will help you like, reach the goals that you're trying to achieve in your life and i know it's one of those hard topics to talk about in here and it turns a lot of people off because it's so abrasive um but i really truly believe in that and i know you've heard the saying you're the average of the five people you surround yourself with and I've found that to be the honest truth. Like, in everything that I've done, um, it's not that you're, you hate the, the people that, uh, hate or dislike the people that you, you've had in your life, but if you find that they're bringing you down and not trying to push to the levels of success that you're trying to reach, whether it's in business, your friendships, relationships, whatever, you have to cut them off and you have to surround, your, surround yourself with people with that same mindset or greater mindset than you have so you can upgrade and just continue to keep leveling up in your life. And I've just found that mindset to be so true. And I know it's just, it's hard to hear. And it's one of those things that's, it's sort of off-putting um, if it's not delivered correctly. And even if it is delivered correctly, you know, it, it seems like uh, sort of like a cold thing to just like cut somebody off and, you know, surround yourself with these, the circle of high, circle of high performers. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy that I was just thinking about and I talked about that last week. And it's something I truly do believe in. I, I really love Gary Vee and guys like Gary Vee, like the Grant Cardone mindsets because it's the truth. It's like the no BS, like truths that get you to where you need to be. Um, I just love that message, man. It's all like, all these sort of these messages have been circulating in, in my space lately, like gratitude, that's been huge for me over this past week. The piece about um, surrounding yourself with people with higher levels of thinking and performance. And he mentioned how he went to South by Southwest in 2017, or 220, what tell is it, 2007, when it, he first uh, got down there. And he thought he was performing at high levels then, but he was surrounded by people 
and minds of the Silicon Valley mindset. This is when he started meeting people in Silicon Valley. And he saw that these guys and gals, their main focus was to change the world with their products and their services. And that was their main focus. They weren't worried about, you know, um, going down there, hooking up with people, dancing, clubbing, all this stuff. They had the main focus of changing the world through their products and service. And he said, just by being around that Silicon Valley mindset, like Mark Zuckerberg's um, guy, like all those types of people that he stepped his game up <clears throat> to an entirely different level because of these high performers. Um, so I, I know it's something that I do every six months. I'm always looking about, looking at who I'm talking to, who I'm surrounding myself with, what type of ideas, thoughts, actions I am um, consuming on a daily basis. And if in that six month period, I look and I start, you know, cutting the people off who are not necessarily helping me reach my goals and I start surrounding myself or looking to surround around myself with people who are at a higher level than me that will help push me to to like work harder and become more successful in whatever area of life that I'm trying to become more successful in. So yep, that was just something that popped up today. Super impactful message by Gary V. I love that. And I wanted to clarify a little bit what I was talking about on that last topic of cutting out people. And it's not from a mindset of using people to get to where you need. It's around by surrounding yourself with people where you can add value to them just as much as they can add value to you. So it's not a using type of thing, but it is surrounding yourself with higher level, higher caliber, higher caliber thinking individuals and higher productivity so you can start working in and improving at an exponential rate. 12.30 at night. Yoga is at six in the morning. I need it, man. My body's feeling a little tight right now. Well, especially like the left shoulder. It feels like it's getting a little bit better. Like I have days where it feels really good, then I have days where it feels just terrible. Uh, I'll get it fixed, get it resolved, and figure out what's going on with it. But overall, it was a really good day, man. A lot of um, new opportunities opening up, I guess I could say. And then moving forward with the projects that I've been doing. Woo, this camera almost fell. Been doing lately. Um, yeah, man, just sort of been enjoying everything that's, that's happening right now and working and learning a lot of new stuff. <laughs> through mostly failure right now. It's been everything I've been doing has uh, pretty much been uh, I guess a fail or a learning experience if you want to frame it in that respect, but Yeah, um, I think it's not a Not a bad thing just continuing to learn and grow through this whole this whole entire process and just figure out what pieces are not working for me and adjusting as it goes. But overall, I'm really enjoying it. And what's been helpful is that I've just been focusing on one thing and trying to hone that in and figure out that piece and get that working. Because usually, I would just go from like project to project to project and just leave these like uh, little things behind, like those little details. Uh, sometimes I think I do. Maybe I'm just being uh, hypercritical on myself, but yeah, I think this is just a nice time to just really um, work on stuff that I know I haven't been extremely, you know, uh, detailed in or focused in at this point, especially when it comes to figuring out what works and analyzing the data. Um, but yeah, it's been a, been a fun experience. But other than that crew, it's going to hit one here in the next half an hour. So... I'm gonna hit the shower and then I'll be up at 5.20 is the time I've set on my clock. I don't know why it's just 5.20, just set it and <laughs> it's a little odd, but get up, do this yoga thing and then we'll be hot and ready to go tomorrow, man. So have a great night. Hope you had a great day today and we'll see you here in a few. Much love, peace.